<laughs> Hello, children. I hope you're sitting randomly, because look who stopped by. Hazel Adkins. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. I went out last night and I got hitched up. With a reckless, self-styled, and unique approach to music and life, Boone County's Hassel Adkins embraced the wild and wonderful ethos of West Virginia with a rare vengeance. His antics and brushes with the law have become the stuff of legends and have made him a larger-than-life character both in the U.S. and abroad. Wave yourself from a head to toe, and do yourself up on the floor. Do yourself wherever you go, do yourself wherever you go. Come on, baby, do a chicken, chicken walk. Hassel's recordings have turned up on nearly a dozen labels in the U.S. and Europe. Notable fans include Robert Plant, Keith Richards, Mike Judge, and the Kentucky Headhunters. He appeared in a number of films and shorts, including Die, You Zombie Bastards, and was the subject of at least two documentaries, My Blue Star and Julian Nitzberger's 1993 The Wild World of Hazel Atkins. Born on April 29, 1937, Hassel was the youngest of 10 children. He grew up in a tar paper shack on property rented from a coal company. He reportedly attended six days of school. Hassel's father, Wid, who worked on and off as a miner, had no trouble convincing his son to steer clear of the mines. His mother worked as a domestic for wealthier families around Madison. The founding father of a genre dubbed Psychobilly, Hassel began recording as a one-man band in the 1950s, most often singing and playing guitar and drums at the same time. His oft-told explanation was that when a DJ played a song and said that was Hank Williams, he assumed Hank was playing all the instruments. Make sense? I'm so long from my You know, honey, tonight, I'm so long from In 1961, he drove to California, where he auditioned for talent agencies in and around Los Angeles. He returned to West Virginia empty-handed and began performing at local beer joints and fairs, billing himself as the Hayes, the wild man from Van, or Hazel Atkins and his happy guitar. All the while, Hassel was recording songs at home on a webcore reel-to-reel recorder. In the mid-60s, 45s began appearing on small local labels, the first being Chicken Walk, backed with She's Mine. Hassel was surprisingly adept at self-promotion. He created cut-and-paste flyers for all manners of gigs and sent promo copies of each new release with hand scrawl letter to radio stations, elected officials, and sitting presidents. That description might be at odds with the public perception of the man who penned songs in which he described cutting someone's head off and hanging it on the wall so you won't eat no more hot dogs. Well, I'm gonna put your head on my wall just like I told you, baby. You can't talk no more. You can't eat no more. Eat no more hot dogs. I'm gonna put your head Or, she said, in which he wakes up next to a woman who looked like a dying can of that commodity meat. When he was 50, Hassel said he had recorded more than 2,300 of his own songs. In 1981, punk rockers The Cramps waxed a version of Hassel's She Said. Two years later, Billy Miller and Miriam Lena, editors of Kix magazine, formed Norton Records to reissue Hassel's early material. Out to Hunch came out in 1986 and quickly became a favorite of critics and Twisted Roots rockers. The following year, Billy and Miriam, now Hassel's managers, put him in the studio. The result, The Wild Man, was chosen as the New York Times Rock Album of the Week. The LPs and singles featured classic photos of Hassel from the 1950s and 60s. Thanks to Billy and Miriam, Hassel was transformed from a local anomaly to something of a legend. In 1990, a pair of releases on Norton, Peanut Butter Rock and Roll, and Moon Over Madison 
featured two distinctly different sides of Hassel. Peanut Butter featured his primal rock and roll rhythms, while Moon showcased an almost sentimental collection of ballads and love songs. The moon is a shining over Madison tonight. And I'm on my way from Louisville back to Madison tonight. As his notoriety spread, Hassel played clubs and festivals with help from fans like Southern Culture on the Skids, Rick Miller, and West Virginia Music Hall of Fame director, Michael Lipton. In 1999, his career got another boost when he was signed to Mississippi blues label Fat Possum. The CD, What the Hell Was I Thinking?, presented yet another side of Hassel, this time as an outsider Appalachian troubadour. In the beautiful hell where I come from. Ultimately, Hassel's songs were snapshots of his life. Cars, Big Red Satellite, his passions, The Hunch, his nemesis, Duncan, his women, Devona Rock, and his pets, Boo Boo the Cat. On April 15, 2005, Hassel was run over in his front yard by a teenager on an ATV. Ten days later, he was found dead in his home. Norton Records plans to release a retrospective box set of his recorded material in 2018. 